Imagine it's sunny. Imagine you're lying on the beach. Imagine reading a book or listening to music. Imagine thinking about lunch, a nice juicy burger and chips. Now, while you think you're doing nothing, your mind is a hive of activity. In fact, your brain uses up to 20% of the calories from all the food you eat. That's more than any other muscle or organ in your body. And your brain is always working. So as you fry, you're burning calories. Even as you fall asleep in the sun, dreaming burns calories. About 19 to 28 calories per half hour. A good nap can burn off a 295 calorie burger. Inside your brain, powering your thoughts are your brain's neurons. Tiny, fried egg-like cells that are packed together to make your grey matter. But what do beaches and brains have in common? Every person has about as many neurons in their brain as there are grains of sand underneath their beach towel. Of course, there's a big, big difference between brain and beach, although both are subject to erosion from liquids. Whereas one grain of sand touches only a few others, each neuron in a human brain has as many as 7,000 neighbors, around 7,000 tangled synaptic tendrils reaching out from every single neuron. Put simply, a beach is a thousand times less connected than a human brain. So, although each grain of sand is a tiny chip of silicon, as a silicon chip it computes a big round nothing. The appropriately named Jeffrey Dummer first connected silicon into a thinking integrated circuit in 1953. Since Dummer's single circuit, we've connected more and more silicon together until today, there are 50 billion or more processes on the internet. That's half a human brain's worth of silicon. To learn more about how the brain inspires artificial intelligence, please follow the link on screen.